I got so caught up in my maths. But yes, in the mornings, uh, wait, there's only one person who could possibly turn from a mathematician into anything else. And that man is... <laughs> who do you think I'm talking about? Mr. Woodhouse, how are you feeling today, Mr. Woodhouse? Right now? Yes, right now, sir. A little bit different to what was two seconds ago. Yes, quite. So, are you ready, Mr. Woodhouse? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm here as a fill-in because uh, someone's presented me with some lame, dodgy jokes. Lame, dodgy jokes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Woodhouse, I'll let him take it away. All right. Um, the first one, well, I wonder where Garfield is. That's a joke. <laughs> so, I hope you've been in all your maths work all year long and you've done some extra study because the first question was, or a joke, haha, is why do you really find mathematicians expending time at the beach? Why? Because they have sine and cosine to get a tan and don't need the sun. I'd like to know who wrote this joke. There are ten kinds of mathematicians. Yeah. Those who can think binary and those who can't. Zeros say to the eight. Nice belt. <laughs> Why did the chicken want to cross the Mobius strip? <laughs> to get to the same side, you dope. <laughs> there are three ways to divide eight. Dividing it by two gives you four, dividing it vertically gives you three, and dividing it horizontally gives you zero. Okay, why does the math book screw up? Because there's too many problems. Why did four like the eight? Because he was odd. <laughs> person number one, knock knock. Person number two, who's there? Person number one, Adam. Person number two, Adam who? Person number one, add them up. Two plus two is four. Six afraid of seven because seven eight. Okay, an infinite crowd of mathematicians enters the bar. Not a gay bar. The first one orders a point, the second uh, one half a point, the third one a quarter of a point. I understand, says the barman, and pours two points. What do you get if you cross an elephant with a mountain climber? You can't do it. A mountain climber is a scaler. What do you call a teapot of boiling water on top of Mount, Ed Mount Everest? High pot in use. <laughs> Apparently to a student in year 11. Why, why didn't the tree fall over? Because B squared minus 4AC is less than naught. Was this part 
party called the Exponential Party for all exponentials. There's one exponential by himself over in the corner. Another exponential goes over and talks to him and asks and says, what is, what's your name and why did you come over and, and integrate? He says, well, what's the point? It makes no difference. <laughs> Our um, judges over there, so good luck. Thanks very much, Mr. Woodhouse. What are you doing there, Sonia? There's some really inappropriate text messages. Now, with the text messages, we have received a multitude of them concerning Mr. Hubert Zow over there. Hubert, have my babies. There's, there's a phone number. Do you want to answer it? Someone's calling me. Yeah, come on, answer it. I missed it, sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is a really good text message. Yeah, and it says, Mr. Woodhouse, you are the sign 90. You get it? You get it? You guys get it? That is amazing. <laughs> Mr. Woodhouse, what do you say to that? Is that good math? Inspirational and high order thinking. Thank you, Mr. Woodhouse. Now, as you may realize, it is actually SRC week this week, so as a prefect, we are kind of hijacking a little bit, so I was wondering whether the SRC would like to, you know, hijack us a bit, maybe? No, 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 none of that at all. It's a prefect right now. <laughs> yes, one of them was, there's a lot of wood in the house. <laughs> Oh, yes. Mr. Woodhouse, Australia's got talent. You will go far. <laughs> Very wise words. Anyone from Mr. Curry? Oh, nothing from Mr. Curry. Um, maths just doesn't do it for me. My eyes glazed over. I didn't get the jokes. <laughs> I think you going to take that line down, down, Mrs. Jan. I think it's a bit sad that you're going to you know, make, make, try and make maths fun. It's just not. <laughs> Sucking up going on from the student. Oh. James Russo, you gotta take that line down. <laughs> what do I hear from you, Mrs. Chan? Hi, Mr. Woodhouse. You look much more funnier here on stage than in the mess bathroom. <laughs> Well, thanks very much, judges. We must be moving on now and now from the English staff room.